when I met Karen, I mean, she was beautiful. I loved her and I just was, you know, as romantic as I could possibly be. And I was careful at everything that I said and did. And we fell in love. That's what happens. You know, you're careful. When you fall in love, you're careful. You, you treat each other with respect. You treat each other with dignity. If you do something wrong, you immediately take responsibility for it. But as time goes on and you know that you have secured the relationship, especially when you get married and you know you've secured the relationship, then you begin to take each other for granted. You begin to say and do things that you wouldn't do. And remember, when Adam and Eve sinned, they both transferred the blame. Blame transfer was one of the original sins of marriage. God came to Adam and said, Adam, what is this that you've done? He blamed Eve. He came to Eve and she blamed the devil. And so rather than taking, they, they both sinned. All they had to do was say, God, I'm sorry, I did the wrong thing. And to apologize to each other, they didn't do that. And so when Karen and I got married, I was a terrible husband. And I was selfish. Uh, I neglected her. I didn't meet her needs. I said some things to her that I never should have said. I mean, I verbally, I wounded her with my mouth almost constantly, uh, especially when I get upset. I would say things to her that were very hurtful. I never criticized her appearance or anything like that. I was just hurtful in the way that I spoke to her. And after three years of marriage, I didn't know my wife. She was she was completely hidden from me. She wasn't gonna trust me. And so when the Lord changed our marriage, I've shared that in previous days, the Lord began to um, bring me under conviction for what I had done. And he showed me the four laws in Genesis 2, 24 and 25. And when I saw those laws, I realized I had broken every one of those laws every day. Every day, I didn't put her first. I didn't work at the relationship. I didn't treat her as a partner and I was not pure. And Karen had covered herself, she didn't trust me. And the, the deep conversations that we had had earlier in our marriage and relationship, we didn't have anymore. And I apologized one night to Karen, told her I was sorry. And the next day I changed. I mean, I truly changed. I, I got it. When I, as soon as I realized there were laws related to marriage, I mean, I got it. 22 year old young man, I just thought I'll do that because it, it's not hard. The four laws of marriage aren't hard. Here's how hard it is. It has to be first, you have to work at it, you have to share, you have to be careful. That's how that's how complicated it is. God didn't make marriage complicated, but these are laws, okay? And so uh, I changed. Uh, I began to say I was sorry, which I'd never done. I began to be careful in the way that I acted around Karen and the things that I said and did. And one day we were having, this is months after the Lord had began to heal our relationship. Our relationship was totally transformed. And um, we were having a conversation and Karen was sharing something very, very personal that she had never shared with me before. And I said to her, why haven't she ever told me this before? And she said, you weren't safe. I didn't trust you. And I realized I wasn't safe. See, the, the old saying, trust is earned in drops and lost in buckets. You can't demand trust, you have to earn it. And I had not, I had lost all the trust she ever gave to me through stupid things that I'd said and done. But when I began to be careful, see, the purity is created in two ways. I'm careful in what I do, and I take responsibility for the things I shouldn't have done. And when your spouse knows that you're you're safe, okay, what that means is they're gonna they're gonna be open. They're gonna be naked without shame. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you're, you're their safe place. We should be each other's safe place. And we're, we're gonna be able to open up and have the intimacy that God wanted us to have.